back to movementprofessional.com. So this is the open half kneeling lateral front squat. It's a form of loaded mobility. Uh, the targets here are going to be shoulder external rotation in the front rack, uh, and then also ankle dorsiflexion and hip abduction. So you're going to look at first just setting up in a tall kneeling position, and what I'm demonstrating here is just the idea of how to use the kettlebell to enhance shoulder external rotation while in the front rack position. So you basically can have a good neutral grip where the wrist is right over the elbow and then move the wrist out while keeping the elbow in and trying to keep the rest of the body stable. So it'll be very easy to try to side bend uh, at the trunk. So you want to try to minimize that as you're just moving the shoulder into external rotation. So you can do a few reps of that on each side before we get into the open half kneeling position and make the movement a little bit more dynamic. All right, so this is a good drill to do anytime you're going to do any type of front rack movement. It's sort of like an over exaggeration of the front rack and you can see my left side is a good example of the limitations that I have on the left side make me want to side bend quite a bit more to the left than I did on the right. So I just have to be aware of that and fight against it. Oftentimes it's the fight against the compensations that will help uh, the mobility limitations the most. So you just have to really be aware of them. Sometimes it's good to use a mirror. Use your, I'm using my other hand to just feel my rib cage, make sure that I'm not compensating more than I have to. All right, so it's an obvious, and I'm using now my right hand to actually enhance the rotation of the humerus. So you can you know, really take your time and try to get as much out of it as you can. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to the other arm and we'll pop up into the half kneeling position. So we'll get back into that front rack position. And the open half kneeling position is a great position to get into. I mean, it's eventually gonna carry over to some of the work that I'll show in other videos with the uh, half windmill position. But it's a great position to get into because it's um, not often that we go into the frontal plane, you know, as so moving side to side. So you can see, I get into um, a position where I'm on my left knee, and then I just take my right leg and I go out about 90 degrees from there. So then from there, what I want to do is I want to shift my body over so the knee goes past the toes, right to the point where the heel on the right side almost wants to come up off the mat, so that I'm working ankle dorsiflexion. And then at that point, then I'm going to try to move the kettlebell outside of the elbow again and enhance external rotation of the shoulder at the same time. The whole time trying to keep my torso as upright as possible, I can use the other arm to enhance the position, and then I'm working on opening up my hips into abduction as much as I can on that uh, on both sides really, but especially the, the left side. When I come back up, so this is the reason I like to call this a lateral front squat is because I'm basically squatting to the right, and then when I come back up, I'm returning to hip extension on the left. So I have to refine the left glute, and I'm actively I'm using my core, I'm using my hips to move myself over to the right. So it's a mobility drill, but you can think of it as you're using your hips as if you would a squat, because you're going deep into a position, and then you're pulling yourself out of the position. I just happen to be moving laterally as opposed to in the sagittal plane. All right, so while you're at the bottom there, you're getting the ankle dorsiflexion stretch, you can just be playing around with the shoulder external rotation, trying to mobilize through there. And I can also put my elbow on the inside of the right knee just to make sure or to enhance the idea of not having my knee collapse inward. So that promotes a little bit more external rotation on that hip. Okay. I will have to side bend a little to do that, but you know, just exploring different corners as long as I feel safe in the position. And then before I move back out of it, I get my torso a little bit more upright, bring myself back up to neutral. All right, and then you can repeat that on the other side. So that would be the open half kneeling lateral squat. If you have any questions, you can go to movementprofessional.com. I'll see you next time.